Today we're going to install uh, the new truck light LED headlight, truck light part number 2727C into a 2012 Jeep Wrangler. Now one of the things we want to point out is this is a 2012 JK and there are some special connectors that are required as well for the 2007 through 2012 JKs. So let's get started. Okay, one of the first steps is removing the grill. Uh, it sounds like a difficult process, but it's actually very easy. There are six uh, plastic rivets on the top of uh, the grill frame, and basically you just need to pop those out with a slotted screwdriver. Uh, you get them started here by prying out slowly. Go underneath, careful not to scratch your paint, and they pop right out. And again, you just re repeat that process down the line six times. Okay, just put the plastic rivets in a safe place. And we want to proceed to removing the grill. Basically, there's a series of uh, snaps. Uh, you just have to grab it with two hands and kind of pull out a little bit and they'll snap out. Just go on down until the whole grill's removed. <clears throat> you can see them down inside. That once one's out, you'll, you'll be able to tell what I'm describing. And then in order to completely remove the grill, uh, you have to unscrew the two turn indicator bulbs. So just take those out. They're just a simple twist and place them safely down underneath. Then you want to take your grill and uh, put it in a safe place so that it doesn't get scratched. Okay, next we're going to remove the trim ring that's uh, around the headlight. For that you'll want a T15 Torx bit and I suggest a magnetic one if you have it or if you need to buy one. Uh, it just keeps you from dropping the screws. There's four uh, screws all together, so just go around and take those out. Okay, once you have your screws out, you want to uh, remove the trim ring off of the existing headlight. You're going to need that trim ring for later, so go ahead and put that somewhere. And you want to pull the headlight out just a little bit. <clears throat> You'll see a red clip on the connector. You'll want to unclip that red clip first. That goes backwards towards the engine of the vehicle. That basically is a secondary mechanism that locks uh, the connector on. So basically, uh, by undoing that, you can now push the tab down which is plugged into the, uh, the light bulb itself and pull the lamp out. Next you'll want to take one of the uh, pigtail adapters. Again, these pigtail adapters are required for all the JKs. That's a 2007 uh, our newer Jeep Wrangler. And <clears throat> just like the headlight bulb, you'll basically plug that in. You'll hear a little snap and then the reverse process where you snap the red clip uh, forward to lock it in. Then you'll take the headlight, the headlight comes with an H4 connector which is a standard bulb connector. You'll plug that in. Sometimes these are a little bit tight so you have to kind of rock it back and forth but you want to get that in there nice and tight. And go ahead and <clears throat> I usually twist the wire a little bit. You've got a little bit of excess wire here so if you Twist the bulb and just sort of coil it up in there. Um, it gives you an easier way to uh, sort of push it back into the, the housing. But there's plenty of room for it. And then the other thing you want to be paying attention to at this point is there is a top orientation on the headlight. Um, you want to put that obviously at the top and then you'll want to position it into place. There's some locating keys and the top will be right um, you know, at the very top obviously. Then uh, you'll want to put the trim ring back on. And again, the orientation of this is a little tricky. You want to make sure that uh, your Torx bit tabs all line up. Yeah, it looks like I have it in the right position. Um, once that's in uh, position, <clears throat> you take your Torx driver and just reinstall your four Torx screws. 
I always like to do the top one first because it's the easiest to get to and then you don't have to worry about the assembly falling out anymore after that. I wouldn't over tighten the first one, just go kind of light. That helps you so that you can line up all the additional ones. You can secure them later. Once you have your torques, your four torque screws in and you know everything's seated well, just go around and snug them up. So it's that simple, now you just repeat that same process on the other side for the other headlight. Okay, once we have the second headlight installed, we can go ahead and reinstall the grill. So you just gently put it into position, index your turn indicators back into place. One each side, you want to make sure they're good and snug and reattached to the frame. And then you want to pay uh, special attention to the clips uh, that are down at the bottom. Make sure there's a line. There's also an alignment tab that can help you line it all up. And just index it into position and slowly pop all the clips back into place. Okay, with all the clips popped back into place, the grill pretty much stays there on its own. Last step is to uh, simply reinstall the plastic rivets. Again, before completely pushing them in, I would get them all in place. That keeps the whole grill loose and helps you line things up. Once those are all in, just go ahead and reseat all the plastic rivets. And that's it. That completes the uh, installation of the truck light LED headlights in a 2012 Jeep JK. Again, it's pretty much the exact same process for a 2007 through 2012.